Hello, in this session, I'll be explaining about the <coughs> bubble sort algorithm. So we have a set of numbers 37, 22, 91, 67, 66, 45, 73, 69 and 40. So our task is to sort these numbers. So you can sort this in the ascending order or the descending order. So this algorithm would result in the following actions. So first we compare the first and the second numbers. We compare the first and the second number. So that is number 37 and 22. So they are in the correct order. So highest first. In this example we are trying to have it in the highest first order. So that is uh, highest first, next highest second, so the smallest one at the end. So we first step, we compare the first and the second numbers 37, 22, they are in the correct order, highest first. Next we compare the second and third numbers. So we, the most important thing is we now don't look at the first number. We, at the second point, we look at the second and third numbers, that is 22, 91. They are in the wrong order, so we swap them. So 22 is now the third number. Next we compare the third and fourth numbers, 22 and 67. They are in the wrong order, so we swap them. So after swapping, 22 is now the fourth number. So we do the same process until we get to the last pair, 8th and ninth numbers which will be 22 and 40 they are in the wrong order so we swap them so if we do it from left corner to the right most corner if we do this operation that is called one traversal so there's a special keyword traversal so at the end of this traversal we would have the following 37 91 67 66 45 73 69 40 and 22 so here we are trying to arrange the numbers or sort the numbers in the descending order. So after the first traversal, now you can see still the number set is not sorted. So we have to do the same operation again and again till the end, till the numbers get sorted. So after the first traversal, we have to have several traversals. So here we have done the only one traversal. So after the first traversal, you can see some special point. Number 22. One number has found its perfect place. So the smallest number has found the perfect place. Number 22 is in the correct place. So if we revise what we did to the number set, <coughs> we have a number set like this at the beginning, unsorted. We have to sort it using the bubble sort algorithm. We compare first and second numbers that is 37 and 22 they are in the correct order so we leave them alone. Next we compare second and third numbers so that is 27, 22 and 91 they are in the wrong order so we swap them. Now 22 is now the third number. Next we compare third and fourth numbers so which is 22 and 67 they are in the wrong order so we swap them so after swapping 22 is now the fourth number so we continue this process until we get the last pair which is eighth and ninth numbers which will be 22 and 40 so they are in the wrong order so we swap them so that concludes one traversal so after the end of the traversal we get the number set below 37 91 67 66 45 73 69 40 and 22 so we have completed one traversal successfully so at the first traversal we can see the smallest number has found its place so number 22 has found the correct place so in the next traversal the next smallest number will find the correct place so if we have one example so we have first row is the original data and in the first traversal you can see 22 has found the correct place so in the next traversal also you have to do the same thing you have to compare first and second and based on the logic you can do the swap or not the same logic that we discussed previously 
Next we compare second and third, third and fourth, it happens like that, the same process. So after the end of the second traversal, you can see the number 37 also has found its correct place. So in the previous traversal, number 22 has found the correct place, it remains. And in the next traversal, number 37 has found the correct place. So as we go on with the traversals, third, fourth, fifth traversals, one, numbers, the number one by one, it will find the correct place. So from the rightmost corner, gradually the number set is coming to a proper order. So that is about uh, the descending approach. So next we'll have a look at a demonstration about the ascending. So bubble sort 3, 4, 5, 2, 1, 6, we have a set of numbers. We'll try to have it in the ascending order. Here also we will demonstrate one traversal. So the process for one traversal is same for all the traversal until you get it sorted. So 3 and 5, we take first and second numbers. Then in the correct order, we leave them alone. Remember, we are trying to make it ascending. Next, we take 5 and 4, we swap. Next, we take 5 and 6, then in the correct order, we keep it like that. Next, 6 and 2, we swap because we want it as ascending. Then we have 6 and 1, we swap because we want to have the ascending order. So that means the highest number at the end at the end so this is the same traversal again for you you can carefully have a look so you can change the order based on the logic so if you want to make it in the ascending order you have to be very careful at the swap operation and also if you want to have it in the descending order you have to be very careful at the swap operation if it's in the ascending order at the swap operation for example, here it's ascending order, swap operation, 5 and 4, then we have to swap because we have to put the largest number to the right place. So if we have two numbers, 6 and 2, we have to swap because the largest number should travel to the rightmost place. So you have to be careful with the logic, whether it's ascending or descending, you have to be very careful in the swap operation. Five and six, six is in the right side, so we keep it like that because it is ascending. Six and two, we have to swap it and make the six to the right side because it is ascending. If it is descending, we should do the other way. So here we are explaining one traversal in the ascending order. In the previous example, we had a Look at the descending order, here we are looking at the ascending order. So for all the traversals, we have to follow the same process. So only one traversal is explained here. That's the end of the session. If you enjoyed, please subscribe the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the session.